Hello. Well, it's really nice to see you all again. And this time, I've got a big surprise for you. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Anne Warren. Hello, everybody. Well, now, Anne's come along this afternoon to give me a hand and do a spot of cooking. Well, now, Anne, do you do any cooking at school? No, I don't, but I do some at home. Oh, mm. jolly good. And what sort of things do you cook? Well, eggs and bacon. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, do you ever cook meals? Yes, bacon and eggs. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> eggs and bacon and bacon and eggs. Now, I've got just the things for you. I'm mm. going to show you how to make a super American breakfast dish called eggs with top hats. Top hats? Yes, mm. top hats. And by the way, they're jolly good for camping too, boys. Well, it sounds terrific. Can I help you make yes. them? Yes. Come on, now, let's give our hands a good wash first, shall we? Yes, you always do that in television, don't yes, you? Yes, I do, and it's jolly important. And I rinse the soap off. Yes, have soapy cooking. You <laughs> don't want that. Now, the great thing, Anne, is to get everything ready before you start, dear. Yes. Just as I've done. I've got a slice of bread. With salt and pepper. Yes, salt mm. and pepper one small egg, and then on the cooker I've got a big frying pan with some vegetable cooking fat in it. And another important point, I've got a plate getting hot. You see, so when the egg's cooked, it goes onto a hot plate. Mm. Well, now, there we are. Everything's ready, so let's get cracking. Well, what do you do with the salt and pepper? That's it. Well, now, with the salt and pepper, a little goes into the egg, like that. That's to flavor yes. it. Mm -hmm. And now, the bread. Cut it from the large loaf. And it must be a good half an inch thick. No That's thinner. No, mm. no thinner. That's very important. And cut the crusts off just as I've done. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing to do is to cut a hole in the center of the bread using a two and a half inch biscuit cutter like that. You well, see? can I do that? Yes, dear. Mm. You do that and I'll see that the fat's all right. Yes. I'm just coming. Mm. Seems all right to me. Yes. Let's have a look. Yes, that's fine. Do you see? It's got a hole in the middle, and then it's got a little run. That makes the top hat. Yes. Well, there we are. We're all ready mm. to go. Shall so I put it on a plate? Yes, you put those on a plate, and I'll take the egg over. And now, the next thing to do is to get the fat really hot. Well, now, it's mm. not quite hot yet. Wait a minute. Um, how do you think you'll know when the fat's hot? Well, it'll go zzz, like yes, that. Yes, that's right. It does make a noise like zzz. That's yes. right. Quite right. Now, it's nearly hot. Mm. No. Not quite. And when it's ready, put, not for a moment, put the round and the little piece with the hole in. Yes. Well, now, put the round in, Anne. There oh, we yes. go. Things. No. That's right. <laughs> in it goes. And now, cook over medium heat, shaking the pan occasionally, you see, so as to stop it from sticking, until it's quite golden underneath. Now, let's have a peep underneath and see. No, no. it's not ready yet. What about the little round? Oh, should we have a peep at the little yes. round? have a peep at the little round. Mm -hmm. no. no, that's not ready yet. Nearly there, coming on. What thing you've got in your pocket, Anne? Oh, this is my mascot. <laughs> and it's sweet. Yes, her name's Judy. Mm hmm And my friend gave it to me for my oh, birthday. Oh, it's a darling, isn't it? Mm. Wish I had a mascot. Nobody's given me one of those. <laughs> Have you got any others? Um, yes, I've got a little dog, and his mm. name's Morgan. Oh, lovely. He's all now, Listen, dear, this is just ready, do you see? Mm. It's golden brown underneath. And a little round. Let's see about mm. the little round, shall we? Whoops, there it goes. Yes. I think I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit, because it's getting rather hot. And now... The egg has to go in very, very mm. slowly, a little at a time. Yes. Now, will you do that, yes. Anne? Now, pour it in a little at a time into the hole. Now, further down, now, a little bit. Yes, that's it. Oh, yes, yes. There it is. And don't touch it for a minute. No. See how the round's mm. going? No, no, that's fine. And then let it cook very gently until the top of the egg is quite cooked. The bottom's cooked already. And then now, that goes on top. Yes, it? that, that does in a minute. Now, now mm. let's get hold of this, shall we, and try and ease the egg, because I'm going to show you what to do with it in a minute. Not quite ready yet. 
It's going to be lovely, isn't it? Well, I hope so. <laughs> Next, a jolly nice change, you know. From, eggs um, and bacon. Eggs and bacon. That's it. Nearly ready. Now, turn it over. Bob's your uncle. See? Mm. <laughs> Scrumptious. Shall I yes. give you the hot plate? Yes, dear. It isn't too hot, is yeah. it? No, just hot enough. Mm. That's right. Whoops, Daisy. There it goes onto mm. the plate. And the little and then top the little hat. Little top hat. He goes on top, you see. And then half a half a tick. Very important. Just a little bit of watercress on top, you see, to decorate. Mm. And there it is. See? If you like, you can put a little grated cheese on top too. Yes. <laughs> well, shall I give it to that hungry-looking carrot? Oh, I think that's a jolly good idea. Well, now there we are. Those were the eggs with top hats. And I hope you'll probably feel like giving Mum and Dad a jolly nice breakfast in bed this weekend. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you are black and gold bananas. And they're called that because the skins really do go black when they're baked in the oven. Now, by the way, have your paper and pencil ready, won't you? Because we'll be showing you the recipes for both these dishes at the end of the programme. Now, I'm going to need a very stiffly beaten egg white for this dish. So I'm going to ask Anne if she'll do that for me. Where are you, dear? Here I am. Come on, now. Will you beat it for me? Yes, I know how to do that. Uh-huh. Mm. What do you put in it? A pinch of salt. Mm-hmm. And that, what does that do to it? Helps to make it stiff. That's stiffer. it. Mm. There we are. And um, when will you know that it's ready? Oh, yes. I'll put it upside down over your head. <laughs> Thank you, pardon? <laughs> yes, over your head. Oh, I see. Mm. We'll see about that. Well, now, the other things you need are two bananas... Here's a bit of a surprise. Cut in halves lengthwise. Four teaspoonfuls of raspberry jam. Four teaspoonfuls finely chopped nuts. And one ounce of sugar. Now, there we are. There's all the ingredients. And the first thing to do is to grease the tin with a piece of greasy paper. That's to prevent the skins from sticking to the tin. Then put the bananas onto the tin and then put a teaspoonful of jam over each banana. Now, I'm just going to do one of the bananas because Anne wants to finish the others off later and have a go at practicing at them. Now, the next thing, a teaspoonful of finely chopped nuts over the jam. And next thing to do is to put the stiffly beaten egg white with a little sugar added to it on top of the bananas. Anne, have you finished that egg yet? We'll soon see. <laughs> Put your head down. Oh. Oh, oh it's a good thing <laughs> that was for that. <laughs> no, but seriously speaking, you see, the egg must be beaten so stiffly that it stands up in peaks, and you really can turn the bowl upside down. It doesn't fall on top of your head. Now, add the sugar. That's most of it. Just leave a little bit behind. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Mm. And... Fold it in with a spoon. You don't beat it, do you? Oh, no, you mustn't beat it, whatever you do. There you are, gently does it. And then, with a spoon and a knife, pile it on top of the banana. Like that. You're going to do the others for me, oh, dear, yes, aren't please. you? It looks lovely. You like meringues. This is you're going to like these even better. Yes. There we are. And then just a little bit of sugar over the top, and then they're ready to go in the oven. Oh, yes, I'll do the others now. You'll do the others for me, dear. Well, now, just one last word. When Anne has done these, she's going to put them into the oven. She'll put them into a moderate oven. That is gas, number four, electricity, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and she'll bake them on the centre shelf for half an hour. Half, half an hour, hour dear. And you'll know when they're ready, because this is what they'll look like. Ooh, you see, lovely. they were quite firm and mm. golden to the touch when I took them out of the oven. They were golden brown, and I've popped just a few glassy cherries on top mm. to make them look prettier. Yes. <laughs> By the way, don't eat the skin, no. too. <laughs> well, now, Anne's going to get on with the others, so I hope you've got your pencil and notebook ready so that you can copy the recipes down, because here they are. Eggs with top hat. One slice of bread, half an inch thick, from a large loaf. One small egg. Vegetable cooking fat for frying. Salt and pepper. And watercress to decorate. And now, black and gold bananas. Two bananas. 
one ounce sugar, one egg white, four teaspoonfuls of finely chopped nuts, and four teaspoonfuls of raspberry jam. Mmm, mm, delicious, aren't they? Mm. Well, we've had lots of fun being with you this afternoon. We hope yes. you've enjoyed ourselves mm. and we'll say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>